so I was also talking to the ladies and we're talking how it's using recycled materials mm. and what happens to cow horn mm. if you don't use it to make your yeah if well, we don't use it it's just wasted it's just you know put it in like in the environment there you know yeah you so you really kind it. of make use of yeah we yeah. kind of make good use of it we you know recycle it we get the beads and you know sometimes they like this dust here if we have a if I had a garden, I'll just apply it to the garden and it becomes a compost or something like that. So Okay. Um, okay. So yes. it's also environmentally friendly. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. It's environmental friendly. So can I ask you another question? So can you tell us um uh like tell us your name? Mm. and where you come from mm. and how long you know Missouri Beats? Oh yes, uh, my name is Okema Vincent, I'm from Gulu, northern Uganda. Okay. Yes. And, uh, is it far from Uganda? Yeah, it's about I think 300 kilometers, wow. you know, <laughs> it's a bit far <laughs> up country, yeah, I mean okay. northern part of the right. country. Right. Yeah, that's where I'm coming from. Came here as a refugee because of, you know, the the war, there was insurgency in, in the northern Uganda. Yeah. Yeah, so we just took refuge here and I started working here. So when did you come to Uganda? Uh, to Kampala. To Kampala, to yeah. To Kampala, it was in eight, uh, I think, eight, uh, seven. Right, wow, yeah. that's a lot of years. Uh, oh, yeah, yes, <laughs> I did my studies also here, but I couldn't finish uh, education because of uh, just Money. after the war? Yeah, the, the war was still there. When I came, the war was still going on. Yeah, so did my education here. I finished all level. I didn't uh, finish all level. I couldn't finish the advance. Okay. Yeah, because of school. Fees. What was your Damn studies? Tight. I reached all, all level. I couldn't have level. Okay. S4. Okay. That's where I stopped. And then uh, I joined my brother who was uh, working in tourism. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I uh, started this business and was doing it. So oh. he started um, yeah, the cow the horn? Pioneer, yeah, sure. My cousin. We worked with him for some time and he got some loan from the bank you know, right. to expand the business, but I think he defaulted. He lost everything. Right, so it exactly. didn't work it well. It did not work. Then now we picked on from there. Mm. We started my own. So you started again from kind yeah, of zero almost? Zero or almost. <laughs> we had to look for the machine, then had to, you know. Then we worked. I worked with another company, I trained them. They're also doing cow horn. Right. Yeah, then I cool out and say, let me do my own thing. So and how, where did you learn your skills, like to do so refined oh, shapes and all right, the uh, craft? Oh, like, right when they were doing experiment from, from the first time with the cow horn, I was around, you know, always going for, you know. So you were watching all this thing? Watching how they were uh. doing it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. After school, I could go and watch, so I picked from there. How they started, I watched it. I know how they started. So you're talented. Easy. Yeah, I <laughs> applied my knowledge. Yeah, I'm talented. Then I picked on. I think I and got to know Missouri Big in uh, 2000, around 2008. I think. Okay, Probably. 2008. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was right before I met yeah, I yeah, met you guys. Exactly. I don't know that. I think that's when I came to know. Wow. And who approached you? Uh to was cast. Cast found you. Yeah. Cast <laughs> found. Just called me. <laughs> I think she got my number from one person in town there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and she told she knew you were making beads or yeah. she asked you. No, to she make was buying it from somebody else. Actually. Oh and, and she, she wanted to work with exactly, you directly. She wanted to work with me directly. That's how we came in the Well spotted. <laughs> Ghost has spotted Ghost you. Ghost is good at finding people. Yeah. 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 And then you started working with Ms. Yeah. Ruby. Yeah, started working. We get orders and orders, orders after orders. We do samples. Uh, we pick some. And somewhere. like eventually, yeah. what shape did you start with? Mm, it was Beat. just a round ball. Just a round ball. Mm, One it? size or the it three sizes? About two sizes like that round ball. Yeah, then yeah, like I remember. You said, okay, let's produce uh, some samples of different sizes, yeah. shapes, different yeah. sizes. And we started making a catalog or something like that. Yeah. And then you went to discs, kind yeah, of discs, ovals, exactly. uh, discs, tubes. Oval, tubes.
half moon twist yeah twist, half moon yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure all of that and now you're making also for the ladies uh, with a with a gap and the ladies put a yeah, barcode exactly yes yes i did that too with a gap then you put yeah even you could the have hamburger yeah <laughs> angus call angus calls a hamburger <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's that one yeah then you could even if i told you could still make layer you just make them in layer uh -huh. I don't have a piece here, but it looks layered. So, so we could have this as, you know. This is like yeah, a... Yeah, this is a white oh. one. So put them together until you get a thick solid then. You know. And how do you do you put them, to, do you stick them stick together? Stick them together with the glue, super glue. Okay. So stick them together, then later now cut out the bits and round it up. Really good, it's so good. Mm. You get some layers. Yeah, uh, you know, quite a refined uh, yeah, piece really. of war. Sure. And can you tell us again, um, kind of what are the stages of making a bead? If you go through the different stages, so you cut the cow, mm. you spot the right cow yeah, horn. Yeah, you spot the right cow horn, the color. Then later you cut it up. When you cut it in a small piece, you boil it. You boil it. Disinfect it, it or whatever. Oh, all right. Be, yeah, if just boiled, get rid of all the all bodies. The, yeah. yeah, exactly. You treat it up, give it a treatment, then later you get it out, it cools, mm. then you start chopping it up, chop it into mm. the sizes you want, roughly. Roughly, huh? Yeah, get rough size, then you now start shaping those pieces up. Mm. Yeah, you sh shape it up with a machine, hmm? like a coal machine, yeah. as it's running, you shape it up, then uh, you drill a hole through the piece now. Then you bring it to the drill and drilling machine, which is running, uh -huh. push it there. Then you start sanding the rough grain down to medium rough until the finest yeah. sandpaper. So you change the sandpaper yeah, from the rough. Yeah, you First one you see is it's not rougher. looking good. You go to the next one until the last wow. one. Wow. Mm. Then after that now you can now buff it up. And then you buffing. Yeah, after buffing and you know, pack it. And then you drill the hole at some the, point. The, the hole is already drilled. It's already. After drill, after what? After cutting, you get the after shape. shape yeah. yeah, after getting the shape you want. And how long roughly asked you again, but I'll ask you again. Mm. How long does it take to make a bead a like bead, average? Average, uh, average, let, let me put it as, uh, let me see. but one hour, let me put it as average about one hour. And okay. Some, let me, let me run, around one, one, one hour, let's see. One hour, one hour average. Who is, yeah, average. Okay, one let's hour. say what what is the most difficult bead to make the out of all the shapes? Uh, the most difficult bead to make is uh, the small one, the smallest. Really? Yeah, uh. because you burn your fingers. Uh. Yeah, when you're shaping it up, you have, you have to sand your finger. The machine, your sandpaper gets over. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to yeah, kind of yeah, hold. Yeah. It, yeah. Yes. Yes. The smallest is. Uh, so the biggest, the bigger shapes mm. are quite easier quite to manipulate. Easier. Yeah, because it, it's easy. It's easy to hold yeah, and, turn to hold and turn around. Oh, you know, this tiny one. that's <laughs> very interesting, yeah. actually. It's dangerous. In the end, you find you know, you got some small, small wounds because of sandpaper. And what is your favorite? My favorite is uh, medium there. The medium is and there. The, the yes, ball the, or the ball. Whatever, but it should be medium. The size. medium, you don't yeah, like the too small, uh, too, too big. Small. <laughs> too small. Too small. Is that easy? Is that easy? But got used to it now. I think whatever size we come, we just have to go through it. Like sure. That. So, you, so you you'll do to, any size. Yeah, just yeah. do any size like that. You yeah, haven't taken a lot of pictures of <laughs> Vincent the whole time, right? Huh? <laughs> and do you want to say something like what do you want us to tell our customers uh, about your if we want to write something uh, if we want to write I something. mean how do you feel working with Missouri beads uh, or uh, how do you feel about people buying your beads in different parts in of the world parts of the world uh, I just appreciate uh, them loving my yeah. work of my hands and uh, I Wish they could, but you know, market it more and <laughs> expand, more. Uh, train more boys, and you know, yeah. the work grows. Maybe get the right machine for doing the work, the right sure. tools exactly for doing the work. So, you kind of always have ideas to yeah, get more, yeah, and exactly. I still have a lot. Well, we, we, want to, we want to help, we want to 
sell more beads. I know we beads. want to help the, the Missouri beads kind of get more sales. Yeah, yeah. We want people to get to know Missouri beads because we've been around for a long time oh, and yes. it's very beautiful products, cow horn and yeah. the recycled paper yes, and yes, the yes, 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 bar cloth. So and, bar cloth. and I want people to know you because uh, I thought mm -hmm. like I mean the ladies we want them we. we we know them more or less on the mm. but I never knew you, uh, so I really wanted to meet Vincent yeah, yeah. <laughs> and come to your place. Yeah, yeah I'm glad to know that we are still here, right? Yeah. yeah, I was worried. <laughs> um, yeah. So thanks very much for the little interview.